with my colleagues here today, Mayor Kate Rogers, we want to thank you for standing with us today to raise a Pan-African flag, which was a, is a commemoration for Marcus Garvey showing, you know, one of his saying was, show me a people without a flag and I will show you a people, you know, with, uh, with uh, lost people. So this Pan-African flag signifies a lot for the black community in diaspora. The colors itself represent everything that we, uh, we stand for. So we want to be able to thank the city of Fredericton again for raising the Pan-African flag and celebrating African Heritage Month with us. Doing things like this, we raise flags and, and we have these beautiful banners and sometimes people say it's just symbolic, but I don't think just symbolic is actual. I think symbolism has, can have real meaning and it's what we do with that symbolism and how it penetrates our minds and our hearts. That's where the real power is. And I, to me, this is just an, an opportunity for us to celebrate the richness of, of black history in our city and in our province and in our country. Being uh, Black History Month, or what we're saying, African Heritage Month, uh, our theme this year is Umbutu. <coughs> and uh, it's a word depraved from South Africa. And it means I am because we are. And as a community advocate and somebody that has been living in New Brunswick here, I think we have so much in common with one another here. Our brothers, our allies in the indigenous community, we have in, much in common. With the words of Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu, you know, no man is an island by himself. We are all connected into one as a human family. I think it's a way for the public to engage in the history in some of our black citizens and residents. Most notably this year, are a, a couple of new ones, one which is for Constable Rob Costello. And of course, he has a very special place in our hearts and, and for, for the ultimate sacrifice that he made in the, sh in the shooting. We also, there's a banner this year of Brian Cardi, who is a really, really important part of our, a member of our community. He was a prof at St. Thomas, a social worker just a, a real valuable community member and, and I look at those two and, I, and then I think of Misha Bruger gosman and what she has done to raise the profile of music in our city and I think of all of those people and how much they've really defined the character of our city and I say that to people in the black community you've helped define our city and I want to ensure that you feel very much a part of our city. And there is other activities happening throughout the month. Uh, black History Month or African Heritage Month is not just 28 days celebration. We want this to be a continuous conversation, dialogue throughout 365 days a year for us to really have this meaningful uh, communication, meaningful uh, collaboration and working together for the betterment of our community, for the betterment of our province to work together towards eradicating poverty, homelessness, um, anti-racism. So we want to be able to work together with everybody in the city to make sure that we accomplish those goals. Just to celebrate the importance of this day and may it go beyond this day into this month and into this year and may the spirit of this and all that this means, may we carry that with us in our actions.